Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotag. We're going to do an overview of iCloud. iCloud allows you to sync all of your stuff on the cloud and then download it to your device through iCloud. So what it is, according to Steve Jobs, when he, he did his last keynote showing iCloud, iCloud basically says our computer is no longer our hub where everything's stored. The cloud, or Apple's data center in this case, is where all the information is stored. So what happens is, is you use iCloud and everything gets stored in the cloud. Now music is not stored there. There is a thing coming out called iTunes Match, which will match your music and then let you access it anywhere, and it's about $25 a year, but that's not out to the general public yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what iCloud has as far as settings. So what we do is we first go to iCloud, which is in the settings, and we create an account. There's my account, and it allows us to choose what we want to sync. The account you just create, or if you have a mobile me account, you can just move it over. You can do that online, or you can do that on the phone, and just use Mobile Me. And it allows you to sync things, as you can see here, mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, photo stream, and I'll show you that in a moment, documents and data, and you can use Find My iPhone. When I first set up the iPhone, if you saw that, it used iCloud to back it up. Since I had iOS 5 on my iPhone 4, prior to using this, I just backed it up to the cloud. When I got my 4S, I signed into iCloud, and decided to use iCloud Backup, as you can see here. And that just allowed me to grab the backup, dumped it on the phone, and I had all the apps just as I did on my prior install of iOS. So it was really nice. And I have 25 gigs because I was a paying mobile me subscriber. So let's get out of here and take a look at PhotoStream. You can turn this on or off, but it syncs photos between all of your different iDevices. So if you have a Mac and you're using iPhoto, you update iPhoto, and then there's an option in preferences that allows you to turn on photo, photo stream. So let's go ahead and show you an example of this. I'm going to take a picture right now, just a simple picture of my hand. We'll take a couple. You can see it's pretty fast too. I haven't done a phone review, but it's pretty fast. And we use that. And let's go over to the iPad. I'm going to zoom out here. We'll go over to the iPad and open this up. We'll go rotate it here. There we go. And we'll go over to photos. And then we should have our photo stream. You can see here's some photos here. And what will happen, it will take a moment, but they'll just show up down here. We'll see what happens. And we'll see if we have, well, we'll go from photos, go back to photo stream. Oh, and there you see, those are the photos I just took on my iPhone. They're all right here on my iPad. So let me show you another example. So it does that with photos, which is nice. Let's go into, where did it go? Pages here. Oh, it's under productivity. We'll go into pages, and we will go to documents. We'll create a new document. And we'll call this test uh, iCloud. So you can see it says test iCloud. This is to test iCloud sharing. We'll just do something like that. That's fine. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and go back to our documents. We'll close out of this. See, you've got that option. See, all of a sudden it's uploading. You can see the little icon there, and it's uploaded. If I close this and go back over to the iPhone, let me zoom back in. There we go. If I go over to the iPhone, go under Productivity, Pages, you can see there's three things being downloaded, and it just added a couple. And it'll take a moment to add the newest one as well. They do sync, it does take a moment. These are some things I created before. It opens them, and you'll see the other as well. And that's, that's available in the settings of the app itself. And this demonstration is not working as fast as I had hoped, but it is there. And let me check on the iPad that I have over to the left. But I use it to sync all of these. Uh, they just show up, and it's, it's pretty nice that I can just go between the two when it works. And it, and it works pretty good usually, but there's iDisk, which is going to go away eventually here. But uh, let's see. Well, you can see here I have six documents. 
Uh, here I have five, so we'll give it a moment to do its thing and come back. So iCloud syncs all of that. It also syncs across Keynote, and we'll leave that open. It syncs across Keynote, and that's basically what it does. It just backs everything up. It works really well and uh, saves everything as far as backups. If you're using a backup, it just runs it in the morning. Let me see if I can show you that. Uh, here we go, iCloud backup. Last backup, it says loading. We'll see what it says. Uh, but yesterday, I was looking at this, and it does it in the morning. So 6 a, 6 6.06 a.m., it backed up my phone, and it's ready to go. Let's see if um, iCloud's loaded yet in pages. Uh, not yet. That's interesting. Normally it's pretty quick. Let's uh, let's close pages, reopen it, and see what happens. And we'll do it in reverse too. Let's see. We'll go here. This is a test document to test iCloud. Oops. Not iPod. iCloud. There we go. Done. Go back to documents. So now I have another document. You can see it's loading there. It's got that little uh, progress bar going. It says updating one document. And at the same time, there we go, updating one document. Uh, at the same time, it should have pulled the other one. So modified on iPad. Here's the same thing since it We'll keep the iPad one. It's, it had a similar message in it, and here's the one from the iPad. Test iCloud. This is the test iCloud sharing. And if you see over here, uh, let's see, it should update over here. So if in theory, this is to test iCloud sharing. They just synced, and they're good to go. You know, it took a couple minutes. That's not really that big of a deal, especially because you're probably going to be using the iPad for a while, and then when you get to the iPhone or vice versa, it'll be a few minutes later. So it's a little minute, couple minute lag, but it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, and the photos are extremely fast to, to upload, so that's pretty neat. But other than that, there isn't a whole lot more to go into as far as iCloud. That's what it does. It backs things up, downloads it here, and then the music eventually will be available here too. And you'll be able to grab all your music on on either device. And I have used that. Uh, it's technically under an NDA right now, so I can't really talk about it. I have used it, and as much as I can say is it seems to work fairly well, and I've read others that have had issues with it. Uh, but we'll, we'll look at that when it comes out officially. So if you have any questions about iCloud or anything about syncing that uh, you might want to know that I haven't shown you, uh, I'll be f I'll feel free to comment below and I'll, I'll try and uh, comment back and, and let you know my take on that or, or what I find. Thanks for watching as always. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so. Hit subscribe, uh, comment, and give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.